Hello guys, welcome to the third part of the video. Now let's go ahead and quickly create the pillow and the resting part right here. But before that, I want to add some details. What I see here is this is climbing up as it is going backwards. So let's do something like that. I know it's going to be a little bit of work, but don't worry. We're going to finish it very quickly. So um, select these vertices um, towards the end and let's create a lattice and it's not going to take that much time let's pull these lattice points upwards um, this is not looking as desired to me let's see um, what we can do is add some on the Z add some lattice points or lattice let's see um, Z it should be five so create okay now I think it's going to look much better vertices oh, sorry we know a lattice point and pull this up in fact the lower lattice points as well this guys this guys these guys okay these guys as well and these guys as well pull them up a bit okay hopefully <laughs> they are coming as desired which I think they are now let's go ahead and click our object and delete the history freeze transfer and yeah <laughs> look more much more organic and way better so let's delete this one and control d to duplicate on the x scale it minus one and let's bring it from the top view let's see where we can place them place this and I think mm, well let's see yeah this looks good let's rename it left left I'm so determined to finish this whole series and wrap it up guys okay now let's create the resting point very quickly going to our front view and let's hit this x-ray button R to scale because this so simple sofa is taking so much time face more sorry vertices and pull this out uh, let's see okay and from our top object mode or to scale quite a bit W to pull it back or just gonna make it a little thicker W to pull it back I think it looks better yeah but um, I need to pull this back and also I think I need to manually get it okay so let's add some divisions here and mm, let's see from the top yeah so let's go ahead and add some um, geometry so going to our modeling edit mass tool insert as loop tool Let's add multiple edge loops somewhere around six. Six should be enough. Reset the tool. And now, even though this may be straight, I want to give it my own touch. Vertex, select these. Vertex W, okay. Select these, going to our front, front view. Front orthographic, select 
these, move them out a bit. Oops, move them out, move this out, move this out, and this one. Okay, we can keep it that way. Bit of a design. It looks way better, guys. <laughs> I hadn't thought it would be this good. Okay, so let's hit three. Uh, not as we desired. Let's go ahead and add some holding edges right here and right here. And I don't want it to be quite as, um, you know, tight as this it is right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it in a bit and pull them out a bit. Sorry, um, pull them out just a little bit. Hit three, it looks better. So let's go ahead and add some edge loop here as well. And towards the bottom. Okay, let's see. Um, here as well and we hit three go into our object mode looks better um, let's see let's add and see how it looks okay yeah looks fine pretty cozy okay now let's go ahead and clear the junk and rename I think we can call it so far back <laughs> for the lack of a better word so far back and this is right and we can control D to duplicate and scale it negatively in the X and hit W Move that out and from the top. Um, I think it's getting too much. So, yeah, I scale it in a bit. Move this out from the front. How does it look? Oh, this is um, taking too much space. So, vertex mode. W to so this is the right amount right here. Okay, vertex mode. Bring this in a bit. Yeah, a little closer. Okay, going to a vertex mode. not bad um, okay we have some some of that detail we can add them if we like so let's see um, let's go ahead and hit one face mode as we did in the earlier videos control E to extrude pull them down a bit and G to repeat the last command and pull them back and let's see how it looks ah, doesn't look that bad guys we can do it here as well um, okay so let's go ahead into our face mode double click control E to extrude pull them back a bit G to repeat and pull them front. Okay. Very quick detail. Looks much more organic. And now let's go ahead and um, rename this. 
left and let's go ahead and hit three hit three okay and modify convert smooth mesh preview to polygon hit g here as well now the last thing that is left is our pillow quickly go into our creation and let's hit r let's let's create it independently invisible it add them into the layer and now let's quickly create the there are many ways to create a pillow but we are going to add some detail let's add them okay and so let's squeeze the outer um, outer edges and something like this okay and pull them out a bit w randomly don't have to be exactly the same is it'll look much more organic okay and now we can also add some bumps if they're protruding out quite a bit we can do something like pulling them let's hit three and let's see well it's not bad guys it looks pretty good um, but what I want to add is the same detail but not all the way through right along these three edges these three edges sorry these three edges hit ctrl e and we can scale this in a bit and g to repeat the last command and g hit three that simple detail creates something like an opening where we can put the feather so that adds a lot of detail so yeah let's clear this up let's call it sofa underscore pillow underscore right okay and now let's go ahead and add it um let's f first go into our smooth mesh preview modify convert smooth mesh preview to polygon and let's show the other let's go into our front view w R to scale, scale this up, a bit. <laughs> scale this down, and we, this is the fun part. We can go ahead and keep it the way we want it to. Uh, e to rotate. Let's keep it in a quite a nice resting position. It's natural resting position. W. Okay, and it's floating in the air now. Okay, not not bad at all. Now let's control D to duplicate and let's call it left. Hit enter and R to s okay, let's we can go ahead and directly um, in the Y, rotate Y. We can go ahead and hit minus. That gives us, cut, but we want some, some, some um, oops, some. What is that called? Not CZ like feel, because when things are perfectly aligned and similarity causes some CZ feel. Okay, guys, this brings to the end of our video. 
and we can go ahead and light uh, and render it out and please show me how you how your render came out i would be very happy to see it and this is the end of our video we can go ahead and control g to group it and we can call it finally a sofa and let's not forget to save okay guys this is the end of the video thank you for watching the video if you liked it please don't forget to leave the like button down below and subscribe to my channel because we're going to be creating awesome videos having fun along the way and learning as well so yeah like the video subscribe to my channel and let's develop the community and help each other thank you guys thank you for watching the video